Hey dear friends, welcome back again. We are so happy you popped over again to see what we are up to today. Of course, for everyone who is new here, welcome. We are Yanni and Diane and we hope you enjoy what you see. And if you do, of course, we hope you take a little bit of inspiration with you. For everyone who is here and is not subscribed to our channel, we hope you will click the red subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and tick the bell so you will be notified every time we upload new DIYs. Like we always say, enough talking, let's jump in today's inspiration. I have very cute stuff here. These cute little bunnies from the action. I believe, yeah, they were one euro each. They're made out of stone. And I think they're perfect for a new spring DIY. And therefore, I'm going to make some sort of basket for, with a fence out of this box from uh, these tumbling tower blocks. Yeah, I use most of them. These things cost three euro each. And there are 45 in one package. Jenny and I buy them online because a web shop with family games has them in stock now and then. So when we buy them, we buy quite a lot of them. And I always use this thing as some sort of trash can. So I'm going to stuff it up with all kinds of trash that I have. I'm also going to open up a new one. Oh, therefore I think I need scissors. I don't have them at hand right now. Well, let's do it open then. That is no big deal. Just not going to close the thing again. Oh, isn't this beautiful? I really love how this looks. Now, tear open the plastic. Because the wood needs to be protected from any kind of moist, I guess. That's why they put plastic around. And then we have a bunch of that stuff. Okay, now I want to make some sort of fence thing, but I also want to make a platform. And I think I'll start off with that first. How long does that thing need to be? If I want to add two of these bunnies, I think four is enough. And we need about. I'm just guessing. I think six in the length. Or shall I do seven? No, I think six is enough. Okay, let's put these bunnies away. Then I'm going to make platform parts. And I'm going to glue that to each other. Therefore, we're going to use wood glue. I always like to use the same kind of wood glue. This stuff here comes from Action 2. For the ones who don't know Action, that is a Dutch shop, but similar to Dollar Tree. They also, I believe, operate now in France, Belgium, and Germany. Oh, this thing was opened up. Sometimes the nozzle gets stuck, and then we have to open it up again. Now, suddenly, it was opened. Time to attach all the parts together. And therefore, I always like to do the following. Just turn these things on their sides. Except the last one. You can leave that one laying down flat. And then we're going to some sort of icing a cake. Just add pieces of glue. Doesn't have to be that much. Right now it's dripping quite a lot. Yeah, I think this works better. Just not that much. Just a tiny little bit of glue. Because this stuff is super adhesive for some reason. There we go. And if you want to, you can still rub these things together. There. Don't forget to put the cap back on. Otherwise, everything dries. Out. We don't want that. If you want to divide the glue a little bit better, I suggest just rubbing these things against each other. That isn't necessary for the ones who want to do it. Just do it for the ones who don't want to, then just leave it like before. 
but I I prefer doing this. Somehow I think it improves the quality of the glue, of the adhesiveness of the glue. Okay, almost there, and now we can start applying everything together. I hope that there is enough glue on these two. Yeah, these need a little bit more mixing, I think. Yeah, that works. Good. Now, um, move this over. Actually, I want to do this from the side. That works a little bit quicker. Um, just want to mix a little bit like so. Then apply everything, just put them together. My finger is quite sticky because I touched the glue in the beginning. Just like so. And then we let this dry. I think about half an hour will be okay. And here and there you might see glue peeping through. We have a solution for that. I will show it to you in a few seconds. And really the drying time is depending on the humidity in your room and of course the temperature. The warmer, the drier, this, then this stuff will dry quicker. Okay, I think we're there. Now you get the box and I like to rip off that part. For the ones with headphones, turn down the volume because I got several complaints that this sound is awful when you wear headphones. I just start scraping on places where the glue has been peeping through just to flatten it out, like so. And then, no big deal. If you want to you can see better from here. Not everything is glued down straight. Then I suggest grab two blocks and push as much blocks against each other as you can. Like so. And then almost everything gets straight. Just like that. That's it. Now we let this dry. Well, these parts are dry, time to attach them to each other. Therefore, we have the same wood glue again. Now, doing it this way, and add glue here. As I said, it doesn't have to be super much. I think this will be enough. And the last one. That will probably take, I think, in between 20 or 30 minutes here in this hole today with no rain and a lot of sunshine okay let's attach slightly press up here and there it's a little bit of glue let's grab earphone people watch out i'm going to use a scrape thing again There. Okay, let's wait until it's dry. This plaque is drying and I want to make, you know, a fence or not a fence, some sort of basket idea. And therefore I want to use two on the side here and four for the front row. But of course we need to make it bigger or shall we do this? But maybe that is a little bit too much. Let me see what we can do if we make a fence like this. I've never made one like this before actually. I always choose the other option but I don't know if this one, you know, the size is okay or that we might need a little bit more of these things. Oh, maybe it will work. Can we now place several here around the corner? Will that do or is that just Oh, I think it will work. Okay, stay in place. Now I want to check how many we need for this row here. Otherwise, we just go for the other option. Fits like a glove. I'm going to do it this way then. Okay, so we need this amount for the side. 
six. So these is everything we need for the side parts. And this complete thing is everything we need for the front part. I'm going to, I think, just glue them first together and then as one plaque, just attach that way. And why? Because I think that it will fit better. Okay, now here we go again. Grab the glue and start gluing away all on these sides. Okay, I'm not going to move, I thought, at least I don't think I'm going to move something here. No, I don't. I placed them all upon uh, or against the plaque that I glued. Why? To hopefully get a more, you know, straighter look. I'm not going to move anything because I still want the first one to glue to dry. Uh, I tried, you know, squeezing it with the locks, but especially this row was way too big for that. So for these it should have worked, but I saw that this worked too. So I tried it this way. Now, let's wait until it's dry. Okay, everything is dry, so we're going to put glue upon the, I think, the big plaque. I think that's the easiest way. Just add glue here on this side, actually on all the small sides. There. And we just love oh, that one was started dripping. Here too. And the last part here. Okay, I think that's enough. Close the glue. First start with this here. And that's the good thing about using wood glue, you can still move around your stuff. Okay, this one is good. And this one is too. Okay, I think I'll leave it this way. Now there is the basket. Carefully move it aside. I think this looks super cool. Um, I'll let it dry again. And then we continue. I added a bit of pieces here because I want to have also a back side. And on the back side, I want to have four. You see them here already laying down flat like that, so I'm going to glue that once too. And the back part, well, we just have to wait until it's dry and then we can start, re, uh, you know, putting it together again. have one complete basket for the bottom part and I'd like to start painting it. I have this chalk paint here, it comes from Action, I have it for quite a long time and I'm going to use a cup to pour the paint in but you can also use a bowl or anything like that. This stuff is quite thin so I think it needs quite a lot of drying time uh, or not quite a lot of drying time. I have a brush and yeah, where shall I start? I think you're on the outside. The coverage is not super perfect, but on the other hand, I don't mind because I love that you can still see a little bit of the wood structure coming through the color of the paint. Now, to avoid drippers, I think first is uh, the easiest way for you to start painting the edges here. There it goes dripping. That's quite a disadvantage of such thin paint. And once this is done, just a little extra. Then I start on the inside, just smudging it in the edges, just like so. And then we brush 
upwards like this. And by doing this, hopefully, instead of going down like, like so, then there will be a lot of paint here. Oh, I have a shaky image, haven't I? I think the neighbor is doing the laundry again. Anyway, what I wanted to say, not go down like that because then everything gets stuck here. So you can go down like that, but not on the top section. So not don't do that. Then you see what happens here? A lot of paint. So you can go down like so. Make sure that all the edges are covered up. And then you work your way back up. And then you have a perfect non-dripping piece of painted wood. Okay, the whole thing here, the basket is done. And now I want to add a fence here on the background. And therefore I'd like to start building with blocks. I think I just put this one here in the middle and continue doing it like so. So we have evenly divided parts. Now we can make a fence two ways by putting blocks here in between. However, I doubt if that really looks like a fence. If I place blocks upon here again, now it looks more like a railway, I think. I have a new solution. I'm going to do different. Just put two blocks on top of each other. Yeah, it doesn't look super neat right now, I know. We'll fix that later. Like this. And then you just put, let me show it here. A block behind. Now that looks like a fence to me. So I'm going to grab these five pillars. This thing can be put away for later use. And we're going to grab our glue again. And then we're just going just to glue these four or five pillars, sorry, together. And then we can place them on top of the basket. And then afterwards just put the blocks behind it. But therefore it has first to be glued and attached to the basket itself. Okay, the glue in between is dry. Time to put these things up on the basket. Therefore, I'm going to position them here, there. And the other one goes here. And of course, the last one. That will be like this. Okay, now. Yeah, you can start the best with the last one. Because otherwise I might touch the first one that I'm about to glue. Two goes here. The third up here, and then the last two. Then we let this dry. I think half an hour, maximum an hour is enough. Ooh, there's a little bit, a lot of glue. Let's just rub these two against each other. Uh, I think half an hour to an, up on an hour will be enough to let this dry. I'm going to use my finger today. Like so. And now we wait. And then we can put the other blocks just like so, but then on the back. Just this way, and now we're about to glue them. I don't think I will show you, or at least I'll explain, because I think it will explain itself what I just explained. Okay, I think we can start carefully. Oh, well, 
There it is already. The base of the fence. I'm curious how I'm going to do this the best way. Oh, this is more than strong enough. I'm just going to start gluing to put these on. And I'll try to keep this part here in the center of this. And then this is what we get. I think I just, I'm going to do I think first in a row, four in a row first, and then just apply them upon the back parts. And then we can paint the rest of the DIY because I didn't want to paint um, yet before I want, uh, before I started to glue everything together. And I think after that, we, it's perfect time to start painting everything. Now, gently rub to divide the glue better. Um, and here too. And here. Is that okay what I'm doing? Yeah. These are the outer corners. And then this is the base. Okay, let's lay it down. We're going to rub off the excess glue. Outline everything. That's it for now. Okay, the last part of gluing for now. Take this one. Now we take this one, which is dry too. And I'm going to apply little dots here of glue. Just like so. And now we're going to apply the horizontal bar there. I think this should do. Like so. And there we are. Perfect. Now let everything dry. Also this way. Let's check if everything is in the right position. Leave it straight now. Yeah, quickly lay it back before it starts pulling down. Wait, and then it is painting time. basket is done. The fence is complete too, I guess. I want to have some letters here in front and therefore I have Scrabble letters. These ones come from the Action as well and they come in these packages. I have one in my storage bo box here. I believe it was two or three euros and then you get several of these, yeah, hobby letters. That's what they call it. I just call it Scrabble letters. Um, maybe I want something like Welcome Spring, but that's hard to find, so I guess I'm just turning it all upside down. Okay, now let's grab some and see what, what, what we can find. Okay, here I have all the letters that, I, letters that I need, and I also have my glue gun at the ready. It's a big dog glue that I want to remove. Okay, we're good to go. What I want to do is glue here in between those pieces. And why do I want to do that? Because when you do this, I think applying the letters much smoother together is easier. So just on the long side. And then push it together. Now, there might be some glue, you see it here, pop it through because I added too much because these things are pretty thin and then it's hard to um, just put the right amount of glue upon those blocks. Just wait a few moments and then I can, at least with this glue, scratch it off with my nail. I think now don't, don't let it go completely hard or cold. Yeah, this one was at the right temperature. This one almost. Oops. 
Oh, I glued it down to the crafting mat somehow. <laughs> okay, there it is. Now you can just pinch it between your fingers and then you get can get rid of that nasty glue that comes peeping through. Now, finish all those letters and then the only thing you have to do is apply it on the front of the basket. Okay, the letters are there. I think the fence looks cool too. Time to start decorating inside. Therefore, I have the following. Of course, these two cute fellas here. I also have uh, artificial moss, also from Action. I believe it was one euro or something, shouldn't be more. And this fake nest material, this sisal stuff. I forgot the price, but it shouldn't be more than two euros. And there I want to decorate with. Of course, I also have some greenery, and I would like to make carrots out of clothespins. I think I will show you um, yeah, first the rough setup, how I want it to be, and uh, then I'm going to add the details. Okay, we first start with this stuff. I think that's going to look messy, but hey, still got to do something. Now, let me grab some of this stuff, and afterwards I need the vacuum cleaner. How did they put this inside of the package? I have no idea. It's some sort of big roll. Just going to fluff it, I think. So it looks more like a bird's nest or natural fibers. Just push and pull. And do we need everything? Way too big. Going to pull out half of it, I think. If that works. Oh, dang, this is a lot of mess. Okay, if we start off with this, how does that look? Is that enough? Do we need more? Do we need less? No, I think that's enough. Oh, I really like how the color looks. Oh, you can really make some sort of nest idea out of it. Okay, then we're going to get the hairs, remove the stickers. And I hope that I could put one upside down, but there is, because it's made out of stone, a hole that I got to cover up. Maybe I can stick it through the sisal here. And just decoy it with... Yeah, now you, now you don't see it anymore that there was a hole underneath the hair. But you still can see its tail, which is cute. Now, I think that's good for now. Let's cover up the ears a little bit more. I still want, really want to see the bunny's butt there. Do we also need one here that is going to sit in there normal? Oh, I think that looks super cute. I don't know what I have with tiny animals in my decoration, but I really love how that looks. Okay, now somehow I'm going to repack this again. Oh, actually it's really good foldable. I'll just push it back into that bag. This we're going to vacuum clean. Put that aside. Wipe it a little bit away so we can craft a little bit more. Yeah, I knew that this was going to happen, so be aware if you're going to use this stuff, it's going to be super messy. Okay, now sleep slightly needs a little bit more green, therefore, I have this stuff. I've never used this before, by the way, um, so we're going to see what it looks. Let's open it up. They also had this in other colors, but this represented spring to me the most. Ooh. I think it's some sort of rubber or something. That's that's what it feels like. 
but I really like the quality. Take a look at this. It looks real, but it's not real, real. Okay, no. Let's just squeeze it here and there into corners or just like this. Let it pop out also a little bit to make it look more realistic because that's what moss really does in the nature. I'm going to sneeze, I think, soon. So if I stop filming this because I got to sneeze because of <laughs> this material, should have opened the window. Okay, now add a little bit more here and there. Looks super cute. The base of the basket is ready. Now I also have, well, that's for later, green. Green branches here. That will fit in here. I also have a bunch of flowers that might look cute but I don't know yet. But first I wanted to show you how you can make carrots. I'm going to put that away. You will need a glue gun. You will also need a twine, but we'll do that later. And of course you need clothes pins. Now let's take out these metal things. And then you can also, by the way, use paint instead of um, twine. That's totally up to you, whatever you prefer. What I'm going to do next is just put these two together like this. Now you can see you get a carrot shape thing. And that's also where we need the green because I'm not going to use the whole string of green. But this stuff here looks perfect like the top of a carrot. So let me check, is the glue gun hot enough? We'll see. Yes, it is. Start gluing. Quickly attach together. Hold for a few seconds and there is your carrot. Number two goes there. Just like so. Now is where the twine comes in, but you can also just paint them. I think we start at the top. Oh, oh the glue was, I think, too cold. Just, this is easy, remove the old glue and add some new. Yeah, that might happen sometimes. I checked it and I thought it would work. Yeah, now it feels better. Yeah, see? This one gets... <laughs> oh, this looks stupid. Now you can see not everything goes exactly right while recording. Just add a new layer of glue. And then quickly. Yeah. Okay, as I want to say, add glue here. Just using a big dot and lay down ouch that's my finger i thought i wasn't pushing too hard but apparently it was as a one i wanted to say lay down hold you can also use what i forgot the tip of scissors of your scissors or some people might have those finger protectors and what we're going to do next is add a little bit more glue here otherwise you can't start decorating right now hold this again and then you can start just going like so just wrap and if the thing gets narrower don't want to see that just go back and then you can go down you see just like so and then you quickly have carrots that you made by yourself on a very low budget. The only thing you still need to do is add some green. Now go down to the bottom part. Just check if you're happy with how the carrot is wrapped. Then until you're almost down, glue the whole down part. Just be careful 
not pushing the oops like some sort of bird's nest push it in and hold it in the glue until the glue is cooled down and everything is attached then you can cut this off now i want to check if everything has been glued properly i believe so only a small loose end here just a little bit more glue and quickly put it back into the glue and there you have your carrot now the only thing you need to do next is take some green i'm going to cut out these small parts of green but you can also use something else that is totally up to you and then you have your own carrot decorations this looks just like real carrot this greenery very cool that i found that i bought them i believe at the action they come in whole big branches now let's start off with the biggest one of course you need to add some glue again i added a lot i'm quickly going to put the green in there something more till the whole glue has been filled up with the amount of green that you like super cool here's the final result of today's diy a cute fence with a small box in front of it which says welcome spring and i added a lot of greenery a bunny butt, carrots, and a normal bunny. With some of that nest material, and almost everything here came from action. Thank you very much for watching, and let us know what you think about this DIY.